does not your flesh and blood. If they become your flesh and blood, it doesn't matter a daughter, a son, an addict brother or sister are your parents to make up your family. They may not have your familiar language like you do, but now they have a chance to life like yours. Many famous people have been adopted, like Augustus Caesar, Marilyn Monroe, Babe Ruth, President Bill Clinton, Steve Jobs, Kristen Chenoweth, and many, many more. Adopting a child can literally change the world. If you are interested in adoption, you might start by looking here in the United States. But most orphan children in the U.S. are welcome to foster homes and orphanages. This is not to say that they do not deserve to be adopted. However, in many poorer parts of the world, the children are not as fortunate. Their chances of being adopted by someone in their country is virtually non-existent. They are destined for a miserable, lonely life. When it comes to orphans in foreign countries, they tend to go without basic necessities. However, if they are adopted, they have a much better chance at a healthy and happy life. Overseas, very few, country, very few countries have equipped facilities and the means to provide for the orphan seeking refuge there. The living conditions in orphanages in foreign countries are often below standard. Infants are often ignored for long periods of time and miss the crucial bonding time after birth. Children in orphanages live in crowded rooms with neglect and suffer physical issues such as malnourishment and non-existent oral hygiene. Diseases often run rampant within orphanages, and because the countries are so poor, there is no medical care. In China, orphanages are swamped with abandoned children due to the one-child policy. These are mostly female, and approximately 90% of the females that go through die in the orphanage. And when the orphanage becomes overcrowded, they can pick children with special needs or the ones that get ill, or even look funny, to be executed or eliminated. They withhold food and water and place them in the dying room, where the emaciated babies are tied or placed in pins to await death from malnutrition and dehydration. These are the children. These children are exactly the ones we need to save. International adoptions have skyrocketed since the 1990s, averaging about 20,000 adoptions per fiscal year. Celebrities and common folk alike have been adopting from all over the globe. The top five most popular countries for international adoption in 2009 were China with 3,001 adoptions, Ethiopia with 2,277, Russia with 1,586, South Korea with 1,080, and Guatemala with 756. If you did the math from just those five numbers, it would be 8,700 children. 8,700 children now have homes and they have parents to love them. Since 1999 until 2013, approximately 249,694 children have been adopted from all over the globe. That is 2,490. 249,694 significantly better lives. Those children now have a chance to actually live. I would like to look at a certain year, 2004. To refresh your memory, it was the year the Mars rover landed safely. The Patriots won the Super Bowl, Gmail was created, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban came out, along with many other events. 22,991 adoptions also occurred that year, with 5,862 5, adoptions from Russia. And on May 15, 2004, one of those adoptions changed my family forever. I was eight years old, running to the emergency room with my two siblings and my grandmother on my heels. My parents were already there, <coughs> having come straight from their flight to take him to get stitches because he bust his lip open whenever he tripped and fell on the stairs in Zurich. When we saw them, he was clutched in my mother's arms, wrapped in coats and blankets. He had a pale face and scared gray blue eyes peeking from the top of a blanket, tops by a head of messy white hair. And that's how I first met my little brother, Jack. Judge. We 
found him in Perm, Russia. In the orphanage, he was the, on the sick list due to a strawberry or mangioma. As you can see, it's just a little spot. It's caused by the breaking of blood vessels whenever you're first born. Um, under his right eye and a suspected heart condition. He was two years old, weighed maybe 15 pounds total when he came home. He could fit into six month old clothes. His body was skin and bones, and his head was shaved to prevent lice outbreaks in the orphanage. He could not even hold his own head up, so whenever he walked, he teetered to the side. His mother had abandoned him whenever he was only one month old. This past spring, my family celebrated having Jack for the past 10 years. He went from fitting into baby clothes to a healthy four foot, 10 inch, little 12 year old boy. The mangium was gone, we had it surgically removed. If we would not have found him, he probably would be dead now due to health conditions and necessary surgeries that he would not have gotten in Russia. His dreams are larger than life and his SAS levels are steadily on the rise. If we would not have taken the chance to jump the pond and go to the other side of the world, we would not have found him. He was meant to be my annoying little brother, whether I liked it or not. about adoption, consider this. When you adopt a child, you think their world is the only thing that will change. But in the end, they change your world too.